Today, we've got some exciting leaks about the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra, specifically about its camera system. If you're as hyped as we are, hit that like button and subscribe for more updates. Yesterday, we heard some buzz that only the Galaxy S25 Ultra will receive camera upgrades next year, leaving the vanilla S25 and the S25 Plus with their current specs. Today, we have even more juicy details about these upgrades, thanks to some leaks on X. Let's dive right in. According to these rumors, the S25 Ultra will feature a brand new version of Samsung's one half 76 inch ISOCELL GN1 sensor. This sensor is slightly smaller than the one in the S24 Ultra but boasts an impressive 50 megapixel resolution. That's right, folks, 50 megapixel for those ultra shark shots. But that's not all. The freest telephoto camera on the S25 Ultra is also getting a makeover. It will come with a new one third inch ISOCELL sensor which is slightly larger than the current one using the Galaxy S24 Ultra. And guess what? It also has a 50 megapixel resolution, just like the S25 Ultra's ultra-wide snapper. With these upgrades, we can expect even better photo quality and detail, whether you're zooming in or capturing a wide scene. But wait, there's more. Samsung is reportedly working on new algorithms to enhance the quality of both photos and videos. While we don't have all the specifics yet, the source hints that these improvements will make a significant difference. Now you might be wondering about the main sensor. According to the leaks, the main sensor on the S25 Ultra will be the same size as the one on the S24 Ultra. In fact, it could be the exact same sensor, but given Samsung's track record, we can still expect top-notch performance. We're still several months away from the S25 family's official introduction, which is likely to happen in January 2025. So keep your eyes peeled for more updates as we get closer to the launch date. Even though we don't have the names of the new sensors just yet, here's a quick recap. The ultra-wide camera will have a new version of the one half 76 inch JN1 sensor with a 50 megapixel resolution. The 3S telephoto camera will feature a new one third inch ISOCELL sensor, also with a 50 megapixel resolution. These changes might not be as groundbreaking as some had hoped, but given the constraints of internal space, it's still a solid upgrade. Let's talk about what this means for everyday users. Higher resolution sensors and improved algorithms mean crisper, more detailed photos and videos. Whether you're a professional photographer or just love capturing moments with your phone, the S25 Ultra's camera system is shaping up to be a powerful tool. So what do you think about these camera upgrades? Are you excited for the Galaxy S25 Ultra? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech news and reviews. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Until next time, hey, we've got some exciting news about Samsung's upcoming foldable smartphones. If you're a tech enthusiast, you're definitely going to want to stick around for this one. We're talking about the highly anticipated Galaxy Z Fold 6 series, and more specifically, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, which is rumored to be coming to China and Korea. Let's dive right in. Among the many Galaxy Z Fold 6 models that are currently in development in Samsung's labs, the one that has everyone buzzing is the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Now, if you're familiar with Samsung's ultra-branded smartphones, you know they are designed to be the best of the best, offering high-end features and cutting-edge technology. While the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 is expected to bring some minor incremental upgrades, all eyes are undoubtedly on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. However, here's the catch. The Ultra isn't expected to get a global release. But don't worry, it seems this powerhouse of a device won't be restricted to just Samsung's home country, South Korea. According to the folks over at Android Headlines, Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra could also be launching in China. This is particularly interesting because it seems the rumored Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim, which we've been hearing about with its slimmer body, bigger displays, and larger battery, might actually be the Chinese variant of the Fold 6 Ultra. If this is true, it would clear up some of the confusion we've seen in recent weeks about how many models Samsung is actually working on. It might just be two. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 and the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, the Ultra, limited to Korea and China for now, would allow Samsung to gauge interest levels before potentially bringing it to a wider audience. In China, the Z Fold 6 Ultra may be sold as the Samsung Go E25, complete with unique visual touches like decorative engravings on the hinge, similar to previous Samsung Gilead smartphones. And here's another interesting tidbit. China might also get the Galaxy Z Flip 6 as the W25 Flip. This is speculative at this point, but it aligns with rumors that Samsung is also working on a Galaxy Z Flip 6 Slim. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a lot of detailed information about what exactly the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra will offer compared to the Z Fold 6. This is probably because the Ultra model isn't launching alongside the standard model. 
but we can expect more details to emerge once the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 goes official at Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked event next month. Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked events are always full of surprises and we can't wait to see what they have in store for us this time. Will the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra live up to the hype? Will it bring groundbreaking features that set apart from the standard model? Only time will tell. To be an upgrade. While rumors suggest a larger display and a slimmer design, the lack of S Pen support might be a deal breaker for some users. Ross Yanon also mentioned that production for the Z Fold 6 Ultra's display panels might begin later this year, with a launch expected in January alongside the Galaxy S25. This staggered release makes sense. It avoids competing with the July launch of the regular Fold 6 and keeps the Ultra exclusive to South Korea for now, which might frustrate international buyers. Speaking of launches, rumors suggest the next Galaxy Unpacked event might be happening on July 10th in Paris, France. However, Tipster E-Leak's list of expected reveals didn't include the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Does this mean no Fold 6 Ultra this year? Probably not. E-Leak's list might only include devices launched leaked photo a few days ago, looks a bit cheap and out of place on a flagship smartphone, expected to cost over $1,500. The device in the picture also appears to be wider than the current Galaxy Z Fold models, suggesting that Samsung is increasing the display size. However, the screens won't be significantly bigger. Samsung is reportedly saving the major display size upgrade for the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra and Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim models, which are rumored to launch alongside the standard Z Fold 6 this year. Now, let's move to the front. The first hands-on image of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 has leaked and reveals that Samsung has finally listened to Galaxy Z Fold users. The new foldable phone will feature a wider cover screen compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Reliable tipster Ice Universe shared this full image showing the front of the device and comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. As you can see, the upcoming foldable phone will have a wider cover screen that matches the width of the Galaxy Z Fold 5's cover screen plus one of its bezels. This wider cover screen should improve the typing experience on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and resolve aspect ratio issues in some apps and games. The new foldable also appears to have much sharper corners for both the body and the cover screen. A tipster shared a photo that seems to show a new camera module for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Although the leak only indicates that the camera module will feature a new design, it's doubtful Samsung would implement a design change without also upgrading the camera hardware. Here we have the first look at the new Galaxy Z Fold 6 outer display. A Twitter user named Ali recently shared a render comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. According to Ali, the new outer display features a boxier design and a slimmer hinge, significantly enhancing a Fold 6 overall appearance. The most noticeable difference between the Fold 5 and Fold 6 is the wider cover display. The render clearly shows what do you think about these changes? Are you excited about the wider cover screen and new design? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest tech news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.